This week on FNAF Unsolved, we take a look at the unsolved mystery of the murder at Circus Baby's Pizza World, an abandoned location connected to the world of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and the suspicious doings of William Afton. Welcome to Season 2 of FNAF Unsolved. It's all new and improved around here. Firstly, I'd like to welcome this week's special guest joining me over the interwebs during this fantastic time. Welcome, Tia. Hello. Hello. So how much do you know about Five Nights at Freddy's? Um, nothing. I'm, I was kind of dragged here against my own will. Yeah, let's not talk about that. For any new viewers, remember that we now have our own website that you can go to with the link in the description. It shows you my uploads, information about each character, and a place where you can take part in my very own FNAF quiz. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, but first, who won the first FNAF quiz, you may be asking. Well, here are the results. In third place, can we have a drum, drum roll, Tia? Can we have a drum roll? One sec. That's pathetic. <laughs> In third place, with eight points, we have Ryan Enjoys Gaming. In second place, with a fine nine points, we have Charmander Gamer. And finally, in first place, with a terrific ten points and earning a huge shout out and so much love in the comments, is Finister. Good job to you and the runners up. Make sure you all take place in this week's quiz by getting involved in the description below. So, um, are we going to start, or what? Yeah, yeah, we are. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a chain of pizzerias across the United States that had been open at one time and closed at another. At least six children were murdered inside and outside the buildings, their souls melded into remnant, a material that brings the animatronics to life at night. But today, we focus not on Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, but on Circus Baby's Pizza World, you may not have heard of this location before. That is because it was shut down almost the moment that it was opened. Meet William Afton, founder of Afton Robotics and co-founder of Fazbear Entertainment. He was a businessman, but he had a passion for making animatronic robots. Or did he? Okay, Tia, I'm going to send you a picture of these animatronics that we're talking about. Bearing in mind that these were made for kids, what would you rate them out of 10? What do you mean rate them out of 10? Are they? Do they look entertaining or? No, they look hella scary. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a child, I wouldn't want to go near them. <laughs> okay, fair enough. It's it's kind of ironic because they are called the Funtime animatronics. It's like calling a Teletubby Godzilla, you know. Oh yeah. Okay. Imagine a Teletubby as a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> These animatronics weren't just created for entertainment purposes. However, they were built. To kill. Upon finding Afton's blueprints for the Funtime animatronics, it was discovered that his intention in making them was solely to kill and capture children. The robots had luring devices that would supposedly find children, gain their trust, and lure them in before killing them, much like Afton would do in his spring body costume. This guy went through so much just to kill kids. Like, I've never killed a kid before, but I can't imagine it being any harder than a Home Alone trap. No, actually you're right. Remember, we are in the 1980s though. So what? You're telling me it's the 80s and there's these complicated robots around that automatically kids well, for you? Well, I don't know. It's a, good, it's a good point, but in this universe things are different. Technology is very ahead. They don't use guillotines to chop off heads of the evil anymore. That was in the 18th century. Oh, shut up. <laughs> the blueprints also displayed a storage tank. A storage tank for what? Children? Well, Afton did plot a child inside of Freddy's belly and made the robot so big as to be able to fit a child inside of it. But why was he doing this? What was his real plan here? In the 1980s, Circus Baby's Pizza World opened its doors, but not for very long. Believe it or not, Yet another incident happened at this location, but it wasn't as Afton had planned. Afton has a daughter, Elizabeth Afton, who is present this day, and you guessed it, Afton's plan had backfired, killing his own daughter. The establishment was shut down, and Afton tried to cover it up by saying there were leaks, but we all know what happened, we just don't know why it happened. 
we also don't know how it happened. We we do, but I'm just getting on to that. Oh. When Circus Babies Pizza World was shut down, Circus Babies Entertainment and Rental was opened, which is an underground facility storing the animatronics. It hides a lot of secrets, which we were lucky enough to find out through a night guard who worked there called Michael. He said that when he felt he was being attacked by savage animatronics, he could hear the voice of Circus Baby, the star of the show. She told him a story. Did you know that I was on stage once? It wasn't for very long, only one day. What a wonderful day though. I was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. No one sat at the tables though, but children would run in and out. Some were afraid of me, others enjoyed my songs. Music was always coming from somewhere else, down a hall. I would always count the children, I'm not sure why. I was always acutely aware of how many there were in the room with me. Two, then three, then two, then three, then four, then two, then none. They usually played together in groups of two or three. I was covered in glitter. I smelled like birthday cake. There were two, then three, then five, then four. I can do something special. Did you know that? I can make ice cream. Although I only did it once. There were four, then three, then two, then one. Something happened when there was one. A little girl, standing by herself. I was no longer myself. And I stopped singing. My stomach opened, and there was ice cream. I couldn't move, at least, not until she stepped closer. There was screaming for a moment, but only for a moment. Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? Sounds to me like a shitty ice cream fan. <laughs> well, I mean, she was. Can you imagine, like, an ice cream guy counting all the children in the neighborhood, you know? <laughs> there were two, then three, <laughs> then five, then none. And when there was one, I stopped, and there was ice cream. And then there was screaming for a moment. But only for a moment. <laughs> but why did that happen? This story perfectly corresponds to security footage on the scene that shows a shocking side to the story. Circus Baby lures Elizabeth in with the ice cream before a claw fires out of her stomach, eating her alive. Afton's daughter now lays dead in the hands of Circus Baby. So, as someone who has never had any experience with a FNAF story before, how are you finding it? A girl just got eaten by a clown, how do you think I feel? <laughs> This is really gruesome, and I can't believe you like this stuff. <laughs> hey, I'm not a fan of robots eating children, but it's probably what they deserved. What the fuck? This is what Afton wanted. An easy way to capture children so he could put their souls in his animatronics. But he didn't want it to happen to his own daughter. So why did this happen? And what is the full story to this incident? To find out, we will have to look at some of the theories. The first theory shows off Elizabeth's true innocence and helps to explain how children were truly lured. The Funtime animatronics have highly developed skeletons and contain many different devices as shown in the blueprints, but what isn't mentioned are the two major devices that would have helped Baby in her quest. So Tia, I'm interested, do, uh, do girls always look at each other and think, oh that person is so pretty? Yeah, I think most girls do that. Okay, and would you rather hang out with prettier people or do you just not care? I don't care why. Well, when you look at Baby, the redhead with the pigtails, do you think she's pretty and would you want to be friends with her? Um, no. She's ugly. <laughs> do you think if she magically turned into a human with the same kind of features, she would be pretty? She probably could be. Uh, okay. Well, this story gets even crazier when you find out that when you look at her, her appearance changes. Okay. Well, you know like how Medusa turns you into stone when you look at her eyes, it's a bit like that. 
It's nothing like that. Funtime animatronics have small discs inside of them that have a huge range. When humans are in this range, they start to hallucinate and see the animatronics as prettier than they actually are. Voice recordings of Elizabeth tell us that she found her very pretty and shiny. Daddy, why won't you let me play with her? Daddy, you let the other children go see her. Why won't you let me go? Daddy just once let me go play with her. She's so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make her just for me? Daddy, she can make balloons! Have you seen her make balloons? Oh, Daddy, let me go to her! Daddy isn't watching. Don't tell Daddy that I'm here. I wanted to watch your show too. I don't know why he won't let me come see you. You're wonderful! But I don't think anyone would think the same if you saw this monster of a robot. Secondly, Baby has strange pins sticking out of her body. These pins are able to transform her into a humanoid robot, making her appearance seem friendly and ultimately luring children in for her to devour. The second theory suggests the character of Elizabeth Afton. In Afton's home, she has a strange room, one with a flower painting, a lamp, a pink bed and a mangle on the floor? What's that doing there? Not much is known about the character, except she is very young and has green eyes. It may not seem like great information at first, <laughs> until you find out that Baby doesn't get her green eyes until devouring Elizabeth. What this means is that like all of the other children who have been murdered and reborn as animatronics, Elizabeth is now held in Baby, controlling her and looking for revenge against her father, William Afton, the murderer. I want you to know what you think of the story. Do you think it's plausible that children's souls possess robots that try to kill people? Not in real life. Why not? I mean, I don't think it's ever happened before. <laughs> Do you believe in human souls? Not to this extent. <laughs> not to this extent. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Elizabeth Afton had a terrible fate, and although William has many regrets, it doesn't stop him from his psychopathic ways. Unfortunately, with limited information on his daughter, the strange mangle in her room, and the world of Funtime Animatronics, this case remains unsolved.